Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Epcot and I am so excited because there is a brand new drink at La Cava that I helped create and it's even named after me. I officially have my own drink in Epcot. How amazing is that? And today is the first day, so I figured I'd come on out and be the first person to try it and maybe a uh, celebrity bartend for a little bit and uh, make the drink for the first couple of guests that come into La Cava. So we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. <laughs> And we have made it to Epcot. It is such a beautiful day out today. Honestly, it's such a beautiful day on my big day, you know? Even though this is like something that's just so like unbelievably amazing, um, I still kind of like kind of want to treat it like a regular day. A regular day coming to hang out at Epcot and trying the new drink in Mexico. You know, as I was walking through Epcot heading towards La Cava, you know, I've done this like a billion times for, you know, new cupcakes, new drinks, and it kind of hit me that like I'm doing it for my actual drink. Like normally I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go check out the new thing at Disney, hope there's not a lot of people, hope there's not a long line, you know what I mean? But now I'm kind of like, wait, are there gonna be people there? Like, is there gonna be a line? Like it's, it, it is, oh, and here comes the monorail. There she is. Sorry, I get a little excited. <laughs> and it's also even crazier because World Showcase, like most of it's not open till 11. So uh, we're gonna be able to see the uh, like Mexico Pavilion empty because we're gonna get in there before it officially opens. When the team at La Cava first approached me and asked me if I was interested in help creating uh, my own drink for La Cava, uh, the first thing I said was, why me? Like, I was in shock. And honestly, I still can't even answer that. I am just so thankful and humble. I mean, this is like a dream come true for me. I mean, I don't think you guys understand. I'm officially in Epcot. And that is something, I mean, I, 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 couldn't, I wouldn't trade that for anything in the world. And uh, they asked what kind of drink that. Uh, I was like interested in making and I said I loved old fashions and they were like perfect because there was a brand of whiskey called Roaming Man that uh, started giving uh, like select bottles just to La Cava like it says La Cava on it and uh, we came up with a peanut butter banana old fashioned and it is so fancy and Gustavo is literally a drink like artist I mean he has an Instagram the art of drink and uh, just the way that he comes up with ways that you can make you know you know alcohol tastes different it really blows my mind and I learned a lot from him Javier Sebastian the whole team at La Cava and like I said I'm just thankful that this is happening I'm not actually I'm not making any money off of this or anything like that uh, this is just something that you know it's like a dream come true to me uh, I mean it's something I could really never imagined any of this happening for myself so I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, yeah I'm headed we're going to try it ourselves I mean, I've already had it, but I can't wait to just drink it, like, officially, you know? Look at how empty it is in World Showcase. Like I said, nothing opens up officially until 11. Uh, so it's really nice to be able to see it kind of without tons of people. And there we go. Look at We're heading into Mexico, heading to La Cava at 10 a.m. I can't believe we're here, and it's so, like, empty before the park even opens. Can actually hear the music. The table is set. Look at these. I am obsessed. And Gracie's on it. Gracie is in La Cava. <laughs> Look at Nate, behind the bar. Behind the bar at La Cava. Here it is, the PMM Old Fashioned. Roaming Man Straight Rye Whiskey, 10 to 1 Dark Rum, Peanut Butter Banana Liqueur, Slow Drip Through Delicate Essence of Japanese Rice. And it comes with a little uh, peanut butter cup on top there. Isn't that amazing? I love it. And then look, you can see us down here where you can follow uh, La Cava on Instagram and a little picture of me. This is incredible. And if you get it to go, you get it in a fancy little cup like this. Then it gets served like this regularly. And I, I can't believe it. I'm looking at all the tables and they all have menus with my face on them. <laughs> I think La Cava is gonna open 
in just a couple minutes. So this is the uh, official first uh, review of a PMM Old Fashioned. <sighs> Much too good. <laughs> It looks like there's a line actually outside of people wanting to get the drink, so I'm gonna kind of be a celebrity bartender and I'm going to pour uh, the first couple old fashions to anyone that buys them, so I'm excited. In my little cup too. <laughs> oh, three minutes. I'm gonna do a, a grand ceremony, an opening, opening ceremony. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Javier, you look wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, I'm Paging Mr. Morrow. <laughs> and La Cava is officially open. Are you guys ready for a drink? <laughs> so I'm making like the first couple of PMM old fashions. I'm gonna not pour heavy. <laughs> I wish I can film more. My friend Kristen is here and she's grabbing my camera and getting a couple of shots for me, but I have to make a couple of drinks and I'm kind of just like, you know, socially like hanging out, sitting down, talking to people. It's really fun and amazing when, you know, you, you build this like kind of like, uh, like friendship. Like some people I've noticed before that have commented before and it's amazing to see them here. And yeah, I don't know, maybe uh, afterwards we'll just talk about everything, kind of recap it. But right now, I feel like I got a couple more drinks to make. There we go. Oh, are you gonna garnish them for me? Yes. Wow, and they're pre-cut. Pretty fancy. Holy moly, that was amazing! I am still shocked. Thank you to everyone that came out. The drink's gone. We sold out. Like, there's, like, it was so much. I loved it. It was the best time of my life. Like, I was so anxious and nervous. Like, honestly, when I realized what was about to happen, it hit me, and I was like, I kind of froze. And then all of a sudden, I'm just like, holy moly, these people love the drink. Everyone's having a great time. They came out and said hi. Thank you so much to La Cava and the whole team. You guys are amazing. And thank you to Gustavo and Javier and Sebastian helping me put all this together and create the drink itself. This is literally one of the best moments of my life. And I'm so happy to be able to cherish it and hold it with everyone here. Like this, thank you to everyone. Thank you. Yeah, it looks a lot busier like from earlier this morning when the park wasn't open. Yeah, oh boy, sorry. I ran to get this. Maria got the last one actually, look yeah, at that. Ran. Kristen goes, there's only one left and I'm running, booking it. <laughs> Lightning lane for paging Mr. Morrow. Awesome drink. It's delicious, by the way. Yeah, a little Food. peanut butter, a little um, banana. And even if you don't like old fashions, it's delicious. She's not, yeah, she's not an old fashioned fan, no, and she thought this was amazing. We decided to make our way up to uh, the uh, Italy Pavilion to get some pizza from Via Napoli. You know, gotta have a little pizza after an early morning of drinking. <laughs> I always like getting the big pizza here, like the big meter pizza, but I feel like it gets a little too like soggy in the middle. And you can ask them to cook it well done, but it won't help. So I think instead we'll go with the smaller pies and uh, make it a little bit crispier because I like a good undercarriage. I like a crispy undercarriage. What is that? A charcuterie? 
Wow. Oh, my Lord. Calamari. Focaccia. The pizza has arrived. We got one medium-sized uh, margarita. And then this is the... Uh, I'm not even sure what this one is called. But it's a Start white pizza. A Start it with a C. Capacho? <laughs> Cachapi? Exactly. That's the way. I like it. You like it? It's got a nice little undercarriage, a little burntness there. This is because it's finished on the horn, you know it? Yeah. It just it's more crispy. Look at how airy and fluffy this is. Oh! There we go. And this pizza is going to have a little bit of a flop to it. And they can't cook it well done. That's just the style of pizza. But look at that. What you can do is use the plate as like a little train. So you go like this. So that way it's not flopping all over the place. Break me off a piece of that pizza, please. Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> Kristen is literally dumping truss, truffle oil truffle on her pizza. Oil. Oh my god, I love truffle oil. <laughs> Honestly, I love this pizza, but everyone's saying this is the best pizza they've had here. You know? I, I, I'm not so much of a white pizza lover, though. I like, like, I like red sauce, you know? I love it, and I love the crust. In fact, you know, I, I really didn't like cheese that much growing up. And I remember being a kid, I used to take the cheese off the pizza. Like, that, like, isn't that crazy? And I'm used to like, oh, let's get pizza. Now I don't do that anymore. I think the only time I really do enjoy cheese is when it's with pizza. And, uh, yeah, I love pizza. The pizza was delicious. Now, we're just going to do a lap, you know? I love how I got to come to Epcot today for the drink. And now I'm just going to do what I always do. Hang out at Epcot. Ride some rides, eat some food, you know? I made my way down to the Japan Pavilion. It's kind of funny because I just got back from Tokyo, but I'm looking for some prets. They had these little pocky prets that I got while I was on my trip, and uh, they were so good. I was eating them nonstop that I was like, man, I wish I brought some home. And then I thought, I wonder if they sell them in the Japan Pavilion. So we're going to stop real quick and uh, give it a peek -see. I love that I'm running to the Japan Pavilion to get snacks from my trip that I just got back from because I love them so much. I really hope they have them. It's like, it's basically Pocky, but it's pretzel. I don't know if they do. It's like pretzel Pocky. I'd have to look maybe, no, that's curry right here. I see the Pocky like station, but I don't see any pretzel Pocky. Sadly, it looks like they don't have any of the pretzel Pocky. I was like, I don't even know if it's called Pocky. I think on the, the box, it's a green box. It just says pretz. And then they have tomato flavors. But on my trip, I'm telling you, I eat probably that more than anything. Like every 7-Eleven, every Lawson, uh, every store I went into, I'm like, oh, I got to get my pretzies. <laughs> it is turning out to be such a beautiful day here in Epcot. The temperature is nice. When we first got here, it was a little gloomy out. I'm not gonna lie, and I was like, oh boy, I hope it doesn't rain, but this is better than I, uh, than I could have ever expected. We're gonna take advantage of this good lighting and take some photos with uh, the cup and uh, like the menu and stuff, because I wanna have nice photos, you know? Uh, but I don't wanna end the video, so I think we're just gonna jump, uh, kinda like jump forward in time and pick it up later in the evening. Uh, but I wanna get all the photos while I can. The perfect lighting, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I want something I can give my mom. It's starting to get a little bit dark here at Epcot, and it's such a beautiful day. It's such a nice sunset happening, and I'm having fun just hanging out, relaxing our World Showcase, talking with my friends, and going over everything, and kind of like recapping. It's still hard to believe this is all, this is like, this is, this all happened. I'm pretty sure I have maybe one of the boxes of pretz that I'm talking about at home. And I wanted to actually kind of sit down and give you guys a recap of my trip from Tokyo because it's been kind of like 
amazing how things have transpired over the past couple of days like i was like oh i can't believe i'm you know what i mean in tokyo and then i'm like holy moly i'm gonna literally fly from tokyo come back home and i'm gonna have a drink debut at epcot like with my name on it and i'm like wow so like a lot has been going on and i would love to like sit down and kind of just you know talk about some of the things that i like most you know I have such a great new appreciation of how beautiful this pavilion actually is. And like, I got to show a lot of my videos where I was in the parks, but I also wanted to make sure I included going to like beautiful areas that weren't theme parks. Like this exact area, I went to a lot of places with temples that look just like this and it was beautiful. And now we tried to make a run over to Test Track the end of the night. The park's about to close, but it looks like it's a little bit backed up. Seventy minutes standby. This is a long line for Lightning Lane. Should we risk it on the single rider line? Let's see what it's like. Yo, we might be getting lucky with the single rider line. I love it. What a great way to end the night if we can get on test track. What's that? Oh, this is looking good. Nice. This is this is a walk on. Yes, it is. Why is the line on the This is literally a walk on. Like even for the standby. Look at this. We're gonna be able to ride together, guys. Holy moly! Come on, there's nobody here. Wow. Five. Oh, oh. Holy moly. <laughs> Yo, this is great. What a walk on. And this is in the single rider line. Monitoring road surface. OnStar. Sim car performance data acquired. Oh. Designs hold up now. Commencing sim car off road and extreme weather sequence. <laughs> Capability test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles can go. Oh, uh, we didn't even get to tap in. <laughs>
appreciate that. Ugh, I might want to go to the dance hall tonight. <laughs> That was so cool. There was nobody in the standby line. So as we were coming up uh, in the single rider line, they were just like five. And we all just went to five because there was nobody, like zero, nobody. And that even happened to the people in front of us. I was like, yo, this is great. As we make our way out, we get to see uh, Luminous. Look at this. Oh, that's nice. And we have made it back home, and I'm looking for Gracie girl. There she is. What are you doing? What are you doing? I missed you. Oh, you want to go for a walk? Huh? You want to go for a walkie? Yeah. All right. Well, now that we uh, took Gracie girl out, and I'm so happy I got Gracie in the videos again. I missed her a lot on my trip out to Tokyo. I said earlier I wanted to kind of like do a little recap about my trip in Tokyo and just like kind of break it down and you know give you my thoughts on the trip and uh, I do want to do that but I really want to actually recap today like I know there's just so much it's such a great thing like and honestly I have a great life I am so blessed that I have these amazing opportunities and it literally blows my mind because every time I'm in a situation where I I really truly think I you know life can't get any better it really does get better and it's just great to be able to share that with people and let people know that you know people can like succeed at their dreams and it's possible to actually do something that you dream of and I, I you know I just I, I just wanted to say that I'm very thankful I'm very very thankful today was such a an amazing memory that I'm gonna hold forever and uh, just being able to say that like you know I have like something inside the parks like I I mean, to some people, maybe it doesn't mean a lot, but to me, it means a lot. Like, I am really, really happy. And uh, yeah, I just want to say I'm thankful for it. And I hope to see people, you know, enjoying the drink, you know, whenever they come to Epcot and stuff like that. And I hope to stop in there, maybe get one and see somebody drinking and be like, I'll buy that one. You know what I mean? Or be like, oh, come in, like cheers and stuff. Just really cool, really cool, awesome stuff. But yeah, and now, oh, oh, now <laughs> I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about in Japan. When I was in Japan, right, they were these little like pretz, they're like pocky pretz, but I was obsessed with these. They were so good, and uh, I can't find the flavor that I really like, but they do have the, the uh, pizza flavor. And they're so good. I want to open them up and show you guys. Oh. Look, it's like little baked pretzel crackers. And honestly, it tastes like a very thin uh, combo. It's a very thin combo. Mm. They're so good. But if any of you guys have ever had these, please let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. I love them. <laughs> and let me know where you can buy them. And that was like just one thing that I really loved in Tokyo. But my whole trip, I absolutely loved it. I'm happy that I got to make the videos that I got to do. And it was great going out there with the Roosevelt's crew and being able to, you know, see some of the, you know, show some of the new shirts that were coming out and doing some photos and stuff like that. And I loved it. And the best part of all of it is, is this trip that I went with, you know, I went out, we really got to get a lay of the land and kind of like get familiar with the park because uh, I am going back. We're going back to Japan 
in 2025 and there's going to be a new park to uh tokyo disneyland called fantasy springs that's going to be open and it's going to be cool to be able to go to that because i'm sure if it was my first time going to tokyo disneyland and also my first time going there and there's a new park i probably would have to focus a lot on the new park and now i got to actually go out and go do some of the rides and you know, kind of get familiar with the park. So when I come back out for Star Wars Celebration, it's going to be amazing. And we got to learn so many cool things. And the whole entire time we were there, we just kept on talking. We we're like, yo, wait to the Star Wars Celebration. Why can't we to bring so-and-so here? And like, you know what I mean? And being able to go from the parks to like, out into the cities like that was something that was really important with me there was like a kind of like a weather uh like advisory because of the wind uh while we were there they had 40 mile winds and they canceled all of the nighttime shows for every night and uh we just actually like spent most of the time in the parks during the day and then we went out and explored the cities that we were at we were taking the bullet trains and kind of uh, just kind of navigating our way through Tokyo. And when I was putting out my videos, I thought it'd be cool to always add in like a little part of going outside. Like we went to the Tokyo Superdome. We went, you know, explored Osaka when we were in Universal Japan. Universal Japan though, that was a really, really funny thing because when we got there, uh, two of the rides, like two of the bigger attractions that kind of were not like 3D or uh, like the, the shows that they have because Universal Studios Japan has like a lot a lot of shows uh, But two of those rides were closed and uh, the other remaining rides uh, There was only three rides that you can ride that you could not uh, Like you you could ride but the other rides you would need to have like a prior reservation To either get into the Harry Potter land or Super Nintendo land So Jaws being one of them that was like my number one priority and I'm so happy I got to ride it uh, and the other one was the two roller coasters. We d I got to ride the uh, Jurassic Park roller coaster, but you can't film on it or anything like that. And then the other ride had such a long wait time that I was like, ah, uh, you know, I'll pass on this. But the best thing about Universal Studios was the parade. Like the parade was like so amazing. I loved it and it was so cool. Everyone got to come out and uh, honestly, if it wasn't for, you know, waiting to go to Super Nintendo World, uh, we probably got a lot done in the park and decided to just go out and explore. And my favorite night, uh, probably out of the whole trip in Tokyo, was uh, the night in Osaka. Like, being able to, like, take the bullet train down to Osaka and just sitting there and looking out and going past Mount Fuji and, like, seeing all the stops that you can get out on a bullet train and then arriving in Osaka it was just amazing like I really really enjoyed that time I enjoyed the time commuting in between and visiting different areas and finding shops and going down streets and alleys with little you know pubs and little like tiny little shops that was so cool and I can't wait to do it all again, you know? And also like learning like the, the conversion rates for yen and you know, uh, like trying the different gas station, like not the like convenience stores, like 7-Eleven food, Lawson, you know what I mean? Those stores were so cool. I don't know, I was, I was so fascinated with everything. And, and then also we got to stay in so many hotels. I stayed in the Disneyland Hotel, and then I stayed into the uh, Hotel Maracosta or Maracosta. Uh, that was like right on Tokyo Disney Sea, and riding all the rides there. Like my trip was amazing, and I had such a great time. Now I really hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Like it was cool being able to share it with you, and also simultaneously enjoy it. Like at the same time, like I really feel like that's how my videos came out. Like. Uh, I really did get to enjoy a lot and also be able to film and put together videos at the same time and it was it was cool and I can't wait because I'm gonna do it again like we're going back to Tokyo and we're doing other things too this year that I can't wait to announce like it's only <laughs> the beginning of the year and I can't believe all these amazing things have happened and like it's been really really such a great start to 2024 and I want to keep it going I want to keep it going it's awesome and 
next week, now that I'm back down in Florida, I'm going to get settled in for a little bit, but next week I have a really cool surprise, like a really awesome surprise that I'm so excited for that you guys will see coming up in the videos. I don't know, I like leaving little teasers, you never know, but... It's something that I know a lot of you guys have been asking for, and I know that they've been asking to actually, you know, it's going to be great. But, anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for everything. I couldn't do it without you, and, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.